Hello everyone! Hello grade 5! I am Teacher Russell of Lananpin Elementary School and I am your math teacher for today. Our lesson is about express ratio using either colon or fraction. Okay, before we start, make sure that you have your learning module in math so that you can easily follow my discussion in this lesson. Okay, let's begin! There are two ways we can write ratio. First, we can write ratio in fraction form and in column form. Okay, so we have fraction form and column form. Second, the ratio A to B or A colon B may be written as a fraction A to B or A over B. Okay, for us to really understand this, Let's take a look some examples. First example, we have mangoes and bananas. Now, how many mangoes do we have here? Okay, so we have four. Now, how many bananas do we have? We have 18 bananas. Now, the ratio is four mangoes to 18 bananas. We can write this ratio in column form. Four. To 18 and we can also write this into fraction form 4 over 18 kung papansin ninyo class nauna yung mango sa banana kaya kapag isusulat natin siya sa column form mauuna ang bilang ng mango bago ang bilang ng banana kaya 4 to 18 or 4 colon 18 sa fraction form naman class kung ano ang nauna Siya naman yung magiging numerator. At kung sino yung pangalawa or kung ano yung pangalawa, siya naman ang magiging denominator. Okay? Another example. We have 6 watches and 3 televisions. Okay, nauna yung 6 sa 3. Now, the ratio is 6 watches to 3 televisions. Then we can write this ratio in column form. Ayan, 6, column 3, or 6 to 3. And also to fraction form, 6 over 3. Naintindihan na ba class? Kung hindi pa, another example. Ayan, we have 1 dog and 2 cats. Okay, nauna yung 1 sa 2. So the ratio is 1 dog to 2 cats. Now, we can write this ratio in column form. 1, column 2, or 1 to 2. And to fraction form, 1 over 2. Okay, so napakadali lang. For sure na masasagutan nyo ang inyong mga activities independently. But if you have any questions or clarification, just ask your parents or your teacher for more guidance. Okay, by that, Thank you for watching and I hope you understand our lesson for today. Goodbye!